ever since we moved here two years ago, I've been drawn to this place. It's supposed to be haunted. It used to be a part of the local asylum. So today I'm going to go and find out everything I can about it. Let's go! It was conceived as an asylum for alcoholics. But by the time that the first building, this here, was ready, they figured out they had a lot more mad people than drunks. Which, given the reasons that could qualify you for confinement, wasn't really that surprising. It started off with just 202 patients, but grew very quickly. Yes, you may. I'm coming. Okay, uh, so where was I? Oh yeah, it grew. By the turn of the century, it had 1,200 beds, 1,200 patients, plus the staff. It was a whole huge complex. It had its own farm, its own orchards, laundry, fire brigade. Yes? Where's my chocolate? <laughs> I can't work like this. I'm gonna go mad myself. For information on the old asylum. If you want to have any information um, researched for local history, you'd have to email through the website. We have I'm lots of maps and there's probably yeah. loads of stuff up there. We just can't access it because okay. we don't have enough staff to, to man that department. Oh, I see. Well, I'm here. Might as well have a look. I don't say no scooters. Right, so that was a wasted trip, except I picked up a couple of books, which is always good. It's time to go back to the office, back online, and maybe send that email she said about. <sighs> right, back to this. Hang on. I found something. This one is going to be a drive. Right, I'm gonna have to go undercover here. We're looking for the Mental Health Care Museum. Oh, museum. museum! Oh, it's been closed. I'm actually a volunteer with, with the COVID pandemic. Um, they just closed for the I'm time sorry. being. Oh, that's such a shame. No, I really wanted to open up again. I used to run the artifacts in the museum. But if you want, I can take upstairs. We have pictures outside of the museum. Each of the like historical dates and all of the like what's the word like the asylum pictures and all that stuff it has the like old doctors like it ha we have an old doctor's hey, bag that they used for treating we have the old nurse's uniform from the 1930s we have like other machinery um some of the more gruesome ones too where they used like a table like a box to hold patients inside machine back in this day they had a whole functioning team of farmers um, 
the nurses and the doctors and everyone in the community, including the patients, would work well, together. I found some information where there wasn't that much stuff actually, kind of given the number of uh, inpatients they had. Yeah, well, it was just it was enough that the hospital was able to form a community. So the patients and the staff would be working in the kitchens, they'd be working in the fields, they'd be. Oh wow! Yeah, they essentially made their own clothes as well. And what is this? So it was employees of the hospital that were taken to war in the war, and then if they were if they died during war, then they had flags put up here. Do you know what these were? And that did somebody go and then come back so they <laughs> took off the name? <laughs> I'm not sure. Because they didn't why actually them, die. Actually, why some of them were missing? Perhaps they just put up all of them for those who served in the war, just in the case that they did die. Thank you very much for doing this. I'm sorry to take you, drag you away from your workplace and but you can you can take longer time if you want to oh. just look between the pictures and everything yeah i can see something but only if you spread yourself sort of and shade the glare of the oh that's cool that was a bit of luck I'll back to this. <laughs> and you've got stickies and that wasn't the only stroke of luck i had that day i also found somebody with information passion and a personal connection ladies and gentlemen me, Alex. <laughs> My great like, grandpa, he was the medical superintendent there, and I've done like a lot of research on like him and his life, and he was like a really good doctor when he was there, and he was known to be enlightened and like to fight for the rights of his patients and like change in the mental health. What were the treatment met methods? When my great grandpa was there in the 1940s, they were just stopping using like, a lot of the like really bad stuff, so. When he came in, there was still like a hydro bath where they like it's a bathtub and then they put, they put like a cloth over you and the bath's really hot in there. And there's actually telegraphs like where my grandpa's like asking so that they don't be used anymore because it's like abuse. But was it a treatment or was it just like if you became violent? They like... calmed them down because they didn't have medication back in the day. Like they didn't have the same kind of like medication to calm down patients that were freaking out. So wow. <laughs> They demolished the Barton building essentially because Hamilton mayor at the time he was going through a revitalization project and he was demolishing on like a lot of historic buildings in Hamilton. So like downtown Hamilton Core, like a lot of historic buildings that were really valuable to Hamilton were demolished. I don't know how college offered a deal on it. Do you know what the what, what yeah. they're trying to do with it? Moha College, right before that election proposed to buy Century Manor and like the land surrounding it because it's wanted like a little field to have parking and they were going to renovate Century Manor and like use it for one, they were going to use one room for like the Museum of Mental Health and mm -hmm. then they were going to use the rest for like whatever they would need it for and like I would think it's a good idea. I personally think Century Manor like should be preserved because it has like, I think it should be made into a Museum of Mental Health because the building, we're the very few buildings left that have traditional asylum style architecture. It's gothic looking the facade, but it's a side style. It would match like I feel like there's a lot more they could do with it. And even if they I just feel like it would be better to have it in a building that was actually like historic. I feel like we don't need to have all these like we should try to use the resources that are already there. So, if the question is, why do I care? Why should anybody? Make sure that you can, if they're not erasing history, they're not erasing the history of like what went on in the early, like early 1900s with mental health, like people were treated right, and it needs to be recognized. There's this, but also enough history and beauty have been lost around here already.
at this point I really wish I had a drive and didn't have to do it the hard way. 